we're going to make some buttermilk biscuits the old-fashioned way. I uh, started here with some cream that I skimmed off the top of our fresh milk from our cow that we milk. And you can actually make butter in your blender too. It goes a lot quicker, but I like to do things the old-fashioned way. So first off, we're just going to start churning our cream. This is hand-churned butter. Now that the butter is churned, I pull it out and oh, look at all that nice butter just clinging to the paddle. Well, this is the next step for making buttermilk biscuits. Now I use the whole works. I just dump it right into the bowl. Everything with the buttermilk and the butter. Don't even have to wash the butter, which is really handy. So now I just keep, I'm just going to add enough flour until I can make a nice dough ball. This is freshly ground spelt flour. Ground it this morning. I'm going to start stirring this here. I'm just mixing in the flour here into the buttermilk and butter. Works fabulously. So nice. Now I want to add my baking powder to this. This is about a double batch with the amount of cream that I had in here. So I'm going to add about six teaspoons of baking powder. Then we must add about a teaspoon of salt. And that's because this is a double batch. Mix this all in here. Oh, oh, oh. These are gonna be so delicious. Add some more flour here. And now for rolling out our biscuits. It's going to sprinkle my countertop with a little flour. Now I'm going to dump the batter onto the floured surface. Now I'm going to sprinkle the top with a little flour. This, I just pat it down like so. And then I keep patting it. And I fold it. And then I sprinkle it. It was kind of a wet, wet dough. So now, and I fold it again so we have nice flaky layers. I love flaky layers in my biscuits. So nice. Now I padded out my biscuit dough to about, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Now it will rise really nicely because of that buttermilk. So now I'm going to start cutting my biscuits out and I'll lie them in nice rows onto my baking sheet here that I have lined with silicone so they don't stick. I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to stick these nice biscuits in there for about 10 or 15 minutes until they're golden, flaky, golden brown. Mmm, smells really good. These biscuits are ready. They smell delicious. Fresh buttermilk biscuits are the best. Now, this is what you do. You just take your biscuits like this and you ladle some kind of gravy over the top. Now I made a chicken pot pie filling here by just um, taking chicken and, and putting milk with it and frozen vegetables. And then I seasoned it with a little Worcestershire sauce 
some salt, pepper, and onion powder. And it's just delightful. Thickened it with a little cornstarch and milk. And then you just ladle this over the top of the biscuits and you've got yourself a delicious upside down chicken pot pie. Delicious.